Destination 100 million subscribers. Sometimes when I make like YouTube videos and things like that, I just get inspired by watching other YouTubers because it's kind of cool. Like, you know, being a YouTuber, you really do have to, you know, dedicate yourself to putting in a lot of time and effort. And you can't look at it as making money. You really have to love doing it. And just seeing like Marty and PewDiePie and them building their relationship for years on end and just building such a rich friendship it shows you that it takes time. They're probably the only YouTubers that broke the um, social media relationship curse because their relationship goes so much far deeper than the, the online content. Their videos are so authentic and I think that's why I love watching, you know, PewDiePie and Martia because it's like their relationship, you can tell it's so real and there's so many things we will never know because it's so real and authentic. It's really their own relationship. It's not for the world. The world just so happens to see them together. And I think that's beautiful. You know, that that's very beautiful because they, that like their life is completely separate from online, even though they may show you little things here and there about their lives. They don't want you to be so into their lives. And I think that's cool. And you know, I just, I gotta watch this video. It, it's with Martia and him moving into a new home. And it, it's just, it's just so many things that makes me love PewDiePie and Martia. They're probably my favorite YouTubers. Um, and just watching how they've done things kind of inspires me. I want, it's like a blueprint and a roadmap to like, hey, I need to do this within my relationship. I need to make sure that I'm spending more time with my girlfriend or doing this and that because at the end of the day you know you gotta make sure that everything is good you can't just make videos and then you know ignore this and that and it's it, it's just you gotta understand it it's so beautiful to watch it's so good to see so we're gonna check out Martia and Peter Pie moving into their new home and her new May notes let's check it out summer so you know they have a new home and it's you know it's kind of cool you know that, that's so cool man like it's so <laughs> he's wearing like socks with sandals I used to do that dumb shit <laughs> no. No so they're going to get the keys of the house which this is so it's so cool, you know, like, ah, uh, cause like I talk, I talk, I talk to my girlfriend about, well, we like to say we're not official or whatever, but like, we know we like each other. Like we've been talking for months now. Like we, we know we like each other. And I, I told her I want a future with her. Like it's cause I don't date anyone unless I want a future. It's not like I'm rushing anything either. Cause I know things take time. It's not like I'm saying, oh, I want to marry you now. Like, of course, I don't even want to be tied down with that commitment. But I do like her, and I want a future. And it's like, I know the things I have to do to to make sure we, we have a future. And then, like, she's working on her thing, and I'm working on my thing. She wants to be a biologist. Of course, I'm doing the whole, 
YouTube entrepreneur thing and so far it's working out, you know, so, you know, I'm doing different things from what she's doing and it's, you know, we kind of connect because we like similar things and it it's just, you know, she's in school. I'm, you know, of course not in school and I just, I'm constantly a workaholic. I'm, I'm just basically grinding, you know, right now and, you know, we have so much time in the world right now and it's just... You know, like, I've always dreamed of having a home and going on trips and traveling and exploring the world, so, you know. We're going in. This is the first... See, I can see myself doing this, like, in open field, just... You know, driving in an open field and with stuff and going into a summer home. Like this, it's stuff like this is so awesome. Look into the place. It's extremely empty and we're still doing some small adjustments. We have changed a few things in here already. Like for example, this kitchen counter, it used to be a dark finish. We also want to change those lights and also the wood burner. I don't hate it, so I might keep it, but I'm not sure. With this emptiness, Kinda sends out too much, we'll see. Look, they've got a nice couch and everything, like they're getting ready. And voila, the couch is ready. It's about 10 p.m. We just got back because we forgot to buy the duvet and pillows. Well, well, well. Looks like someone is making a fire. It's time. I know it's crazy because it's like I, I know I, I have a, I want to have a future like this and I'm working towards that future and it's just so cool to just see that it's possible they're YouTubers and stuff and like in the background I you know I have my air mattress you know I'm sleeping on this I just moved into my you know my apartment or whatever and you know it's just like sometimes you're like how do you get there from here like you're at this low point but it's like I'm, you know, I'm making my money, I'm doing the things I need to do and working towards it. So I guess it's going to happen. And, you know, it's just like, it's cool to see this. I'm loving it. We have to do something about this jungle. So we're going to go to a gardening center. Garden center. It's so hot. Touch it. Look. I think it's crazy because it's like <laughs> it's just so insane to see Pewds and Martia grow from where they were to here. Like 
you gotta understand these two started like they used to fight over ramen noodles too they used to fight like their videos they he lived in an apartment he could barely pay rent and it's just it's so nuts to see how far you can go like it's so crazy to see that on youtube like people think you know youtube's bull crap and it won't work and all this but it's serious and um you know like it's crazy like years ago people were saying you can't grow on youtube and i only had 65 subscribers at the time but now i have 27,000, and i don't want to stop until like i'm not going to stop anytime soon you know this is kind of cool to see this stuff <laughs> Wow, this is so lackluster. <laughs> <laughs> you just see Edgar just looking in the window like. Okay, that paint those paintings look beautiful. I'm not gonna lie, it looks dope. We are back. We have to get all of this out. Plus, we got a ton of packages. <laughs> Pewds is like mowing the grass. Some lunch because we're going to see your today and we're gonna have to drive. Wait, wait, what is this? I feel so nosy for like depicting everything in this video of their new home. I am about to prepare some lunch because, like, what they're are they vegetarian? Like, yo, they must be vegetarian because a lot of the foods they're eating does. There's like no meat in a lot of that stuff. We're going to see the alpacas today. Like you don't okay. see any and meat. We're Where is the? Gonna have to drive for quite a bit, so we want to prepare some food so we can eat on the way. I'm planning to make some pasta. We have some options. I think. So this is what's happening. Oh, so this is the only way you can go vegetarian is eat a lot of pasta. <laughs> Hey, do you want to happen to my camera? It's not open anymore here, so I think I'm gonna have to vlog with my phone today. So we're on our way to see the alpacas. On the website, it said to not wear any colors, so we're black and white. We're all good with that. I got some rain boots because apparently the farm is like in this clay ground. She's wearing a hoodie that says, "But can you do this?" <laughs> so we'll stick to.
please. Don't leave. Don't leave. I'm filming this. We are three weeks into the month of May. So far, I have been completed the alpaca walk. And also, I've been bringing you along with me every time Felix and I went to the summer holiday house, whatever you want to call it. As you saw, the house was completely empty, so we have been just ordering in some furniture and decorating and building stuff. But there's still so much that we need to do. It's definitely not completed. So even though this is it for this video, you will see more of that house. But now, the third goal was to paint or doodle or do anything creative every single day. I haven't filmed the process of me doing anything, but I do have things to show you. So here I am, ready to share everything I've done this month, and I hope you like it. It's so cool because I draw a lot. I, I used to draw so much and now I feel like I don't even draw anymore. Like now I just freaking just like, I, I guess like a lot of things can make you lose freedom and it sucks. But yeah, this is, this video is so eye opening. So obviously you may have noticed that there are a few missing just because the day I'm uploading this is not completely the end of May, but I will keep doing And also I did skip through the video a little bit, so if you like you should you guys should go watch the full video. Um but uh thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it um like i said tell me what your dream home is in the comments tell me what kind of home you would like to have in the future and uh peace